Ladies and gentlemen, I know that many of you are feeling angry. You're feeling frustrated. Some of you are feeling depressed and hopeless. But I'm reminded of the words written by Thomas Paine and delivered in the essay, The Crisis. These are the times that try men's souls. The summer soldier and the sunshine patriot will, in this crisis, shrink from the service of their country. But he that stands by it now deserves the love and thanks of man and woman. Tyranny, like hell, is not easily conquered. Yet we have this consolation with us, that the harder the conflict, the more glorious the triumph. What we obtain too cheap, we esteem too lightly. It is dearness only that gives everything its value. Heaven knows how to put a proper price upon its goods. And it would be strange indeed if so celestial an article as freedom should not be highly rated. Ladies and gentlemen, the United States of America, founded in 1776 as a representative republic, governed by a constitution, is the greatest country to ever exist on planet Earth. As Ronald Reagan once said, we are the shining city upon a hill. We are the light for the rest of the world. And we shall not allow that light to be extinguished. As long as I draw breath, as long as God gives me the ability to be on this earth, I will provide as much leadership, education, and encouragement as I possibly can. This nation is starving for leaders, and I call upon you to be a leader, not just for your family, but for your neighbors, for your community. We need all of you to be faithful to the United States of America, to the founding principles upon which it was governed, and to the Constitution of the United States. May God bless you all and carry us through this fight.